Hi everyone and welcome back to Decisive Squirrel Homestead. Today we're going to do some work on our bean and pea bed. Just get everything all cleaned up and help those little plants along. So let's go. So there are a couple of things that need to happen here just as general maintenance. The first is I go down this center row and just kind of grab at the grass and the weeds and not try to like pull anything up but just grab handfuls of leaves off the top so it's not so tall. I put those in a handy dandy bucket and then go feed them to the chickens. We could have put weed barrier or wood chips or something like that in between the beds but we just didn't this year. We were kind of in a rush um, because of the timing of when we bought the house and got to put in the garden and when our growing season starts here we were just doing things pretty quickly and decided not to do anything in between the beds this year. I don't know if we will next year or not. It's kind of nice to have this stuff to feed the chickens so it's not really a big deal. So the first thing I'm going to do is go down the row and pull all these weeds. So that's all we're trying to do there. We're not getting rid of everything. We're not pulling every weed up by the roots. We're just kind of taking the tops off so that they don't overtake the plants. We're not trying to get it super duper clean. The next thing we're going to do is come to the other side of this bean and pea bed where, where are some of you down here? Our southern peas, our purple hole peas that we planted. I forget four or five days ago are starting to come up and we need to go through and make sure nobody's hiding under this weed barrier and needing a little bit of help to poke through like this little guy to make sure they're not being there we go not being kept under there when they're trying to come out so we're gonna go down the row and make sure all of these guys can stick out if there's any grass we'll go ahead and pull that and make sure they've got an opening so that they can get out through the weed barrier. And now that I'm done playing garden midwife and helping the black eyed peas through the weed barrier, we're gonna go down the peas and beans and make sure that they are starting to climb our arch the way we want. They mostly do that on their own, but they do need a little encouragement along the way. And as I go through here, I'll also be picking any weeds or grass that are poking up through our weed barrier. This little guy has been a problem child ever since the freeze. You can see, I think, the bottom stem down there does not look good. I don't think it's in good enough shape to really carry water up like it's supposed to. But there are a few peas on here, so I just haven't pulled it yet. But it just doesn't want to hang on like it's supposed to. So I feel like every time I come out here, I have to help this guy get off the ground and back up on the trellis and it just doesn't grab on. So I think it'll give us a few peas, but that's probably about it. These are our very first bean flowers, bean blooms for the year. These are provider green beans. So those will be producing really soon. There's a few of these plants like this that have bloomed. We haven't grown these before. I didn't know they had purple flowers, but that looks pretty. And last but not least, a little quick check of our edamame plants. They are starting to put out little flower buds, so I think they're going to bloom pretty soon, so that's exciting. They need a little bit of help with weeding too. They have some weeds coming up down here at the bottom of their little spots in the weed barrier. 
So we'll pull those out. And that is a day of bean and pea bed maintenance. It takes about an hour altogether. I try to come out for about an hour or two every day and work on something. So that was today's work. See y'all next time. Bye.